you were the wrong one to be messed with. Your enemies knew God was standing by your side the entire time. Folks, listen now. All of your buffoons, I say y'all, but all of y'all enemies, a.k.a. buffoons, whatever you want to call them, these people knew who was standing by your side the entire time. All of this time, now all these years, they've been trying to trap you, put you in this trap, fellas. Why you think them three or fours or gold diggers try to trap you, ladies? Why you think them hood boogers, them bugaboos, try to get you pregnant? Think about it. But it didn't work, cause guess what? You saw right through them. And not only that, your so-called friends turned into enemies. And they tried to set you up. But guess what? You had the gift of discernment. So that gift that you were given is like you can see the evil through people. You're like, nah, I ain't, I ain't rolling with you. Nah, I'm good. And they stand there looking so stunned because they can't believe you outsmarted them. You see, it's easy to read people's energy. But when you're not spiritually awakened, you'll be blind. But y'all are spiritually awakened. So you can see the good and the evil. The good, the bad, and the ugly in people. And they had the nerve to try to get you caught up. Try to get you pregnant if you're a woman watching this. Or try to get you trapped if you're a guy watching this. Child support, all types of stuff. Try to leave you as a single mom, a single parent. But luckily, guess what? You didn't fall in that trap. But let me say this. If you are a single mom or a single dad or what the case may be, listen to this. You did not get that fool or that, that trap a second chance to come back into your life. Because here's why. You had learned your lesson the first time, but the second time, oh, you were you were you were ready. Trust and believe me. That's why you so strict or who you let come into your life. You are so strict of who you want in your circle because these ain't nothing but poisonous snakes out here, ladies and gentlemen, on two legs. You got snakes on two legs out here. You got to be very careful out here. You got to be more careful. They try all types of stuff. Witchcraft, voodoo, wishing on your demise, all that. But you still standing. And they figure out, oh, he the, he the wrong one to be messed with. She the wrong one to be messed with. I don't want no problems. I don't want no smoke. Because every time they try to set you up or try to get you trapped or try to turn people against you, guess what? You still standing strong to this day. Even Forrest Gump couldn't win a ray. I'm excuse me, I say that wrong, but even Forrest Gump himself couldn't run away from these problems. He can run, but he can't hide. He can run all he wants to, ladies and gentlemen, but guess what? He cannot run away. From the wrath of God. Understand that. So I don't care who these folks is. I don't care they got more money than you or not. And they try to set you up or try to get you trapped in some BS. Oh. They gonna feel the wrath. Trust and believe me on that. And like I said we ain't wishing this on nobody. Because we don't do that. But when people put themselves in this situation. It's like they asking for it. It's like they don't care. But they know who's standing by your side though. But at the same time, they really don't care. Because they let Satan get in their ear. And had them doing this stupid foolishness. It's like Satan get in their ear and whisper. Do that. Do this. I don't care if you hear him or not. Do it. And then when that backfire, he over there laughing at them. They get embarrassed. And now they try to plead and beg for mercy. So you can, so you can get them another chance. Why do you think people come back in your life 
after they had done you wrong, they cheated on you or backstab you. Or text your dog on phone. Why you think they do that? Think about it. But guess what you said? Ha <laughs> ha, not decline and block. Because you ain't got time for it. You ain't got time for the foolishness or the BS. Man, this is 2024. And this year almost over. So why would you want to start off or not start over? Why do you want to end your year with a bunch of buffoons around you? I bet January the 1st or last year, you had cut these individuals off. Or before 2023 had ever came here, you had cut these individuals off. It probably been years since you had talked to them. Could be your own family. I don't know. But you let me know in the comments, though. But in the year of 2025, oh, yeah. Y'all finna step into your big time season, a.k.a. breakthrough season, winning season. You name it. Because guess what? These people try to hold you back. But they know doggone where they couldn't hold you back. Look at you. Look at all the storms and the hell you've been through. These people ain't got nothing on y'all. They can't hold you back. Like I said, they can try to run, but they can't hide. Forrest Gump, he can run all he want to. Let him run all he want to, but he can't hide. Because like I said, y'all, these people have so much anger in them. They try to stop your blessings. Like, oh, word? Like, okay. You were like, okay, but guess what? You still got that blessing, though. You still smiling, though. You still thriving and elevating, though. And what they doing? Nothing. They dropped everything they were doing and focus on you. You, you know what? Screw this. I just going to pay attention to him or her. I don't care about my own life. I don't care if I don't take a bath three times a day. I am going to watch him or her all day long. First of all, ew. Second of all, you delusional. Tell them, ladies and gentlemen. And number three, you fell out stupid. Not not y'all, but I'm talking to not y'all, but I'm talking to the um buffoons. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, people will drop everything. They don't want to take care of themselves. They don't want to bathe. They don't want to feed their kids. Cause they're too busy on the phone watching y'all. Trying to come up with a plan. For them to mess their brain cells up. Or how can they tarnish your reputation? No doggone well. They hurting themselves. They are stressing themselves out trying to hurt you. But they have found out the hallway. You the one one to be messed with. Like I said in the beginning of the video. They don't want no smoke. They don't want no problems. But they're going to try their very best. They're going to try. But I bet they won't get close to you, though. I bet they get close to you. Be ready to shake your hand, kiss your behind. Now tell me if I'm lying. No. Y'all got people so afraid, they're scared to speak to you. They're like the cat that got the tongue out their mouth. Then when they get ready to shake your hand, their hand get to shaking. How you doing to squeeze the mess out of their hand? Let them feel their energy. Well, I ain't gonna shake his hand no more. Oh, 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 no. He like, he like to took my hand off. No. You got their energy. Their energy is scaring them. You got that thunder. You got that lighting. And that type of energy they got is so doggone weak. But these people know your ancestors were standing by your side this entire time. Why you think you scaring people? Weak people, that is. Because people... That got the same injury as y'all ain't gonna be afraid because y'all understand one another. You got the energy, you got the aura, same thing, but you got that connection. Then when y'all click up together, link up, you talking business. You're not doing what these idiots are doing. Connecting, gossiping, talk about one another. Then when they see one another, best friend, hey, bestie, mwah, mwah, doing all that stuff. Like, get a grip. You don't like each other. The energy you put into the universe is toxic. Like, really? 
but they call themselves keeping it real. But they run around here, talk about one another. Really. Look at my eyes, look at my face. Really. But what we talking about here? I mean, seriously. They had to get together. It, well, listen to this. They had to get together. But they can't stand one another. But they got one stupid thing in common. They try to take you up out of here. Trying to screw you. And all this stupid stuff, it didn't work. Now y'all got these people walking with their head down. Y'all got them afraid. Scared. Because they now that's waking up. Well, who they were dealing with. Who they were effing with. The wrong one. The wrong uno. Ese. Amiga. Amigo. If you speak Spanish. They were dealing with the wrong one. You understand? Why you think when you walk into a store. People will stare at you. They know somebody. Is protecting you. It's more than one somebody. You got this spiritual click with you. God, your ancestors, your loved ones that transition to the spiritual world. I mean, world. I said, well, y'all know I'm country. But the world. All your loved ones that had transitioned to the spiritual world. The world. They are protecting you. Your ancestors too. Everybody in the spiritual world is protecting you at all times. Your guardian angels, every single last one of them. And people get so frightened. Weak people get so frightened because they see what's protecting you. No, 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 we might not mess with him. No, we might get our feelings hurt. We might get embarrassed. But we might not mess with her. She might, yeah, we just going to have to stay right here and just sip on our tea and just watch her collect all her blessings. Girl, we gotta stay right here. We don't want to get our feelings hurt. Mm hmm. Y'all got people. Hold her up. Talking about you. Because guess what? They did all of this stupid stuff to try to take you down. And you still standing. Straight up. It make you want to shake your head and just laugh at them. They try to get your attention. People are so doggone desperate and lonely. They want the chosen one's attention. They want the spiritual warrior's attention. They want the spiritual being's attention. Earth angels. They want, uh, they want our attention. They want your attention. But you ain't going to give it to them. So they got to act like a child. Throw temper tantrums. <laughs> All that stupid stuff. And you still ain't paying them no mind. <clears throat> now, when you ignore them, then they finna do something crazy. And guess what? They try to throw all this wicked spiritual, I'm not gonna say spiritual, but this wicked spiritual from the devil, these type of shaming tactics near your way. And guess what? It still got blocked. Because like I said, guess who's standing by your side? My point exactly. It been block, 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 block. Every time they throw something at you. Click, block, 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 block. They can't touch you, can't face you, can't hurt you, can't do nothing. And they stand there like this. How in the hell is he getting away with all of this stuff? How is she overcoming all this stuff? And then that same spiritual attack from the devil. They threw at you, came right back and smashed him in the face. And like somebody playing dodgeball. Y'all remember dodgeball back in elementary, right? It's like you're playing dodgeball and they throw it at you. You catch it and you throw it back and that bink. Now to the kids that's watching this, don't do that. But I'm talking about spiritually. You understand? They try to throw a wicked... Fireball near y'all way. And guess what happened? Cut the white upside they head. And now. 
They're scared of you now. Because all their plans had backfired. All their rumors turned you into a celebrity. Like I said in my other video. It doesn't matter what these people try to do. You still unstoppable. You can't be touched. And not only that, they cannot take you down. It had took a lot of people, y'all, that don't even know you, that don't even know each other, don't even like one another, but got one thing in common, to see you squirm like a little worm, to see you squeal like a pig. Now they squirming like a worm, now they squealing like a pig. Now tell me, who won? I'll tell you, doggone it. You won a long, long time ago. You been won. But now, they know. Every time they see you or hear your name, they get the shivers. They get the shaking. They're like you this Frank Lucas, mob gangster or something, but y'all not that. But spiritually, they scared of y'all. Because these people know what time it is. Hey, y'all seen the movie Godfather? Y'all them type of people, but in a good way. And God is the big boss. So they know not to play with you. These folks probably be very, very careful. Because they not, they're going to fit the wrath. Like I said, Forrest Gump, he can try something if he want to. But guess what? Let him run all he want to. But he can't run from the wrath of God. They can run, but they can't hide. So let's sit right there and try to do all they sneak dissing. Trying to catch your attention or get your attention. It ain't going to work. These people lost a long, long time ago. And then when you really, really succeed and finally get that breakthrough, somebody going to be crying. Somebody finna get pissed off. Somebody finna be feeling really, really angry. And they finna stress themselves out. Because they try to stress you out. But you ain't worrying about these folks. You ain't worrying about nothing. Everything you dealt with been taken care of. They need to take care of themselves. Their hygiene, kids, if they got any kids. The whole entire household need to be taken care of. When was the last time they did some sweeping and dusting or doing laundry? Because you know why? They're too busy watching you, studying you, monitoring you. Why? In the meantime, the laundry room is so... Filled up with dirty clothes. That furniture got dust on it. Dust and trash all over the floor. The kids saying, Mommy, I'm hungry. And what they doing on the phone. Watching your stuff. Pathetic. But you living your life though. <laughs> and another thing about y'all. When you got that gift of discernment. Or any type of gift you got. You don't post it on social media and try to flex and try to make people feel bad. But I guess your strength and your confidence and your faith made people feel bad because they wasn't taught that. But guess what? They don't teach this stuff in school. But guess what? It's up to them if they want to be chosen or not. But they declined the call from God. So they made their choice. They made their bed. So, hey, they got a lie in it. But you, though, y'all, you all have overcome all the obstacles. Congratulations. You should be clapping. As a matter of fact, I'm going to clap for you. Because y'all had no idea. Y'all don't have the slightest clue of how many people were coming up against you. But you still made it because, like I said, God was right there by your side that entire time, folks. That entire time. And he didn't leave you either. So glory to him. Give thanks to him as well. But yeah, you were the one uno to be messed with. Now they find out the hallway now. Y'all got them shaking, shivering. They, <laughs> they scared to talk. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. One more time. Pathetic. But yeah, y'all. 
We just dropped a bomb on this major video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Time to wrap that one up. Now, guess what? Be ready for tomorrow for more content now. Right now, turn y'all more vacations bell on, which I know y'all be doing anyway, but salute, much respect. Shout out to all of y'all. Every single last one of you. Oh, and by the way, if you're still here with me, we made the 47K. Can you hear 5K coming along the way? If so, type in holler in the comments and drop the major bomb. Because I see 5K coming, 6K, 7K, 8K, 9K, 10K. I see it all. Because remember, we are speaking things into existence. Remember, faithful outworks is dead. I got the faith, and I see it already. And doggone, it's going to come true. But yeah, y'all be safe out there, man. God bless every number. We will meet again tomorrow on the next episode. So stay tuned and be safe out there, folks. Peace.